Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Several facets to the forecast. You have the warm and humid, you have the chance for shower and thunderstorm activity, and you have a look at the tropics. We're talking about temperatures still being fairly warm on through the weekend. The valley average highs may be down just a few degrees, but not too significant. It's still going to be plenty warm and plenty humid through the weekend. A uh, hurricane tracker for the Pacific takes a look at Amanda. We've been watching this storm uh, with interest for several days, and it's still forecast to die down and sort of double back on itself, remaining west of Mexico, but still may pump more moisture and clouds across Mexico and towards South Texas as well. Next week, we note uh, some of the forecast models biting onto the development of low pressure as a tropical uh, depression, perhaps, moving it on north uh, past the Straits and then on toward Florida by the end of next week. Nothing for the valley, though. Our focus is on low pressure, but it's of a different variety in that it's mid to upper level low pressure over East Texas that is really providing energy and lift into the atmosphere, into a moist, unstable atmosphere, and that in turn provides shower and thunderstorm development and will continue to do so. The best chance for severe weather will remain to our north, uh, the yellow blob there, but we're still in the general thunderstorm zone the big green blob. So that means somebody else's thunderstorms north or west of us might produce a little energy that might tear off and come this way. We've already seen that happen uh, in Star County the other night. We could see it anywhere in the Rio Grande Valley uh, basically anytime in the next few days. Futurecast shows that mid to upper level low just taking its slow walk across East Texas into Louisiana just hanging out in the neighborhood close enough to give us just that slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Now, it's giving the folks off toward the coastal bend and whatnot a very good chance. Southeast Texas, a very good chance for more widespread heavy rain and thunderstorm activity. But for us, we're just on the furthest southern reach of all of this, or fetch. Uh, Futurecast, up close and personal for deep south Texas, shows it. Then we go on through with, uh, there you go, one chance, two chances, three chances more as we move on through uh, Thursday. And then by the end of the week, we're still looking, even as that low dies in intensity, uh, we're still looking at that chance for a shower, thunder shower in the forecast. If thunder showers, thunderstorms start to break and you want the latest information, please uh, see Twitter. The tweets come out at Brian Hale, KGBT, and I like to post this video forecast, as you know, Facebook forward slash action for weather. The seven-day forecast takes you right on through the end of the week, into the weekend, through the weekend, with that chance for a shower or thunder shower each day. Again, the atmosphere is warm and moist, moderately unstable. All it needs is a good kick, and boom, you end up with a shower or thunderstorm. And that kick is that low or any energy tearing off under thunder, other thunderstorms in the region. So we leave it in there on through the weekend. It won't spoil your plans. Just be prepared for one or two. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.